What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Niall Campbell, with WHET Digital, and I'm here joined by my favorite couple, Megan Good and Devon Franklin. Hey. It's a pleasure to see you guys today. Good Me to and you. Megan are low-key besties. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we went and got tacos like together. This. Yeah. There you go. We're besties. You know, you know, you know. But now I get to finally get to meet you. Pleasure and you guys you. just celebrated your seven-year anniversary. Yeah. Yes. And the first thing that I have to really ask you guys is, it's been seven years, yeah. all right? Don't know if they're seven long years, but they're also seven good years, right? Yeah. yeah. Seven good years. And but short years. Seven short years. It feels, it feels, it's, yeah, it feels like it's been two years, and then it feels like it's been ten years. And I feel like you guys are still in this honeymoon stage, yeah. but I really do have to ask you, how do you keep your marriage fresh and exciting? I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, it, it's just life. Our lives are just yeah. so unpredictable. So. I think it's, yeah, a little bit of everything. We're both pretty strange. And so I think we enjoy like learning new things about what you say? Strange. Oh, she's strange. I ain't strange. I'm sorry, he's weird. I'm strange. Um, I ain't weird. <laughs> he's definitely weird, baby. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I feel like it's God by the grace of God because I I know I don't have the seven year itch. So what about you, honey? What's that? The seven year itch. Oh, sorry. There's so much noise. My bad. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not itching nothing. I ain't scratching. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I told you he's weird. Okay. But I, I, in a recent interview, you said that, you know, in order to really be a better partner, you had to fall in love with yourself, your single self, yeah, and yeah. truly to, to truly commit. Yeah. What do you think are some of the things that you learned to strengthen yourself as a partner in those single stages? Mm, I learned, uh, we talked about this earlier, I learned, oh, in the single stages? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, definitely loving yourself, like, understanding who you are and who you aren't and being brutally honest with yourself and figuring out where you need to grow and being willing to do the work, um, being willing to step out of your comfort zone, um, learning what you're worthy of and reminding yourself of that daily and then just not settling. When you do get into a relationship or you look like you're going to venture into a relationship, don't settle. Know what you deserve and know what you're worthy of and if that is not the right situation then it's okay, the right one will come along in God's timing and there's no rush. Um, and I think a lot of times people make us feel like we have to rush, especially as we get into our 30s, but we don't. We're living in a totally different day and age um, and it really is about God's timing and, and getting the best that God has to offer for us. What she said. Not on plan A. Ditto. <laughs> Alright, and then one thing that you guys also talked about was the importance of counseling. And I think people can be afraid of that. They're like, why do we have to go to counseling? We're good. But you guys did this before your marriage and even, I'm not sure if you did it during your marriage, but can you talk about the importance of counseling in order to keep your marriage? It's very important. I mean, you know, it's important to bring a professional in who can help see things that we can't see. And too often people think, you know, going to a counselor means there's a problem. There isn't always a problem with just maintenance, right. too. And you sometimes you need someone else who can help you communicate. Because believe it or not, in marriage, communication doesn't always come easily. You have to work at it. So a therapist or a counselor can be very, very helpful. And we're, we highly recommend it. Yeah. And lastly, this year's theme at Essence is party with a purpose. Yeah. Okay? Did you guys know that? No. Most people don't. I'm like, you guys need to promote that better. It's so dope, right? I know. But I have to ask you guys, if you could choose any album, what would be the soundtrack to your life? First thing that comes to mind, because everyone's like, Niall, that's such a hard question. But it's not. There's an album that comes straight, right? The first thing that comes to mind. I mean, it'd be a compilation. I almost just said Whitney, but I'm like, I feel like it's a compilation of stuff. It could be like some DeBarge, some Teddy Riley, some Aaliyah, some... But in terms of like the theme for your life. Oh, theme for our life? I thought yeah. for... Like a, like a soundtrack, I mean like an album that would be the theme. It doesn't have to be your marriage, it could be you personally. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, probably something by Janet or Madonna or Prince. I know I'm all over the place. Yeah, you are. I said yeah. one. I love Madonna. Okay. Madonna. Uh, Old school Madonna. Like 90s, 80s Madonna. Okay. okay. You know, for some reason, Princess 1999 came into mind, you know, because that idea, what was so cool about it is he wrote that song, you know, I mean, he wrote that album, you know, like, I mean, 20 years or something before yeah. 1999, and so the idea of, like, tonight we're going to party like, which means we're not going to reserve celebration for the future. We're going to bring our future celebration into the present. Okay. Yeah. And as a result, we position ourselves to manifest the best going forward. So I think that would represent you know, what I'm trying to do. It's a little bit of a sermon over I here. I, I like what you did there. On right. Sunday morning, we got something. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys, again, keeping it fresh and exciting. And then seeing you guys, like, with everyone here, it's just so beautiful. Y'all are just so genuine, you. and your love is just absolutely amazing. Thank you. So, yeah. thank you. This has been an exclusive interview with WHT Digital. Thank yeah. you for watching.